Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 6th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you an update on space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, world weather. Starting out here, looking at our sun as we don't have any new events to talk about. We did have a minor C-class flare earlier today, but other than that, we've had no major sun events thwarted our way since those few days that we had a very busy sun. Looking at 304 angstroms the last 48 hours on our star, still that large plasma filament in the southwest region, lifting here from the surface. Hopefully that stays in place. As well, we've got a pretty big sunspot region coming in, northwestern and southwestern cresty limb. Amazing imagery coming from Solar Dynamics Observatory. Give a quick look at multi-spectrum. Show the last 48 hours. There's that CME from the other day. Plasma filament hanging out right here. You can see that dark line. Very thick plasma rope. As well as see me just in front of it. Amazing sun. Amazing times. We'll carry on here. We're going to have a quick look at our current space weather conditions. As we're sitting at 395 kilometers per second at the moment. As I said earlier, we did have a minor C-class flare earlier today. And as well, the CME reported right here, solar, solar X-ray flux. So still down in B range now. Geomagnetic activity is down. Other than that, no major space weather events to talk about. Quick look at Alaska 3 for the past 48 hours. Just still showing that intense plasma stream coming out northwestern side from the last CME. Also give a quick look here at Schumann resonance for today. Looks like we're at a power of 12 with a blackout being reported. I want to take a quick moment to thank everybody for tuning in and as well welcome everybody to the family daily events worldwide almost 50,000 followers strong I keep sharing and caring and much love to all thank you so much I appreciate all of the views all of the support and as well all of the camaraderie in the stream so yeah power of 12 oh Looks like a 12 hours blackout, they're saying. Amplitude of 7, quality of 5.4. Quick look around the world for earthquakes. As the largest reported today was actually in China. Xunjiang, China, 5.2 earthquake at a 10 kilometer depth, as well as south there. North Sumatra, seeing some sizable seismicity as well. They saw 5.5 in Sabang, Indonesia, and as well as South 4.2, as well a notable earthquake there in the Indian Ocean, 4.1 that was reported, 4.2 here, Greece. South America, quite a few earthquakes. San Antonio de la Cobros, as well, off the coast of Peru. Four point sixes, ranging to four point two. Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, all of the minor seismicity has seemed to, seemed to has ceased, but we also did have a sizable earthquake here. Here's your reminder. 
a reminder that there was an earthquake here, Venezuela, Guria, Venezuela, as well, lots of activity through Ecuador up into Mexico, across the U.S., looking at a boat. The largest earthquake today was a 3.2 off the coast of California, Trulia, California, as well, minor seismicity continues through Hawaii. A pretty deep earthquake today, Fiji region. 548 kilometer depth as well. Kermadec Islands seeing a 5.5 there today. <clears throat> and that is a look around the world for earthquakes for the past 24 hours. Give a quick look here the last seven days around the world. Pretty active week across the Northern Hemisphere, Ring of Fire, Alaska. And our largest earthquake here in the last seven days, 7.0, Vanuatu. And a look around the world, we've got lots of extreme weather breaking out across the southeastern United States as forecasted here with daily events worldwide. I'm just going to be looking here at the world precipital water map as we're watching these moisture bands now stretch towards the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. Long lines of moisture. So heads up southeastern United States, you do have quite a bit of extreme weather on your doorstep. And right now, actually, and it's going to continue overnight tonight. Give a quick look here at the next few days overlooking North America. As we have that low pressure system, which is now over northern Ontario. And it's going to tuck into Quebec by Friday bringing lots of snow on the backside of that system as far south as Virginia Mountains, Appalachians. As well, we've got an Alberta clipper here heading over into northern Alberta. That's going to head northeast towards the Hudson Bay. Still lots of snow falling, higher elevations, North American, uh, Pacific Northwest, up into Alaska. And then watch for more extreme weather and a pretty sizable system here bringing a lot of snow here. Late season snowstorm for western United States. Looking to be about five states affected next Wednesday, the 13th of April. And watch for some quite intense extreme weather ahead of that as this huge low is invading the North American continent. So by the 14th, April 14th, we're going to have extreme weather breaking out across eastern United States, up into northern Ontario, and on the back side of the system, a lot of snow, as well as a pretty sizable low pressure system off the coast here, bringing snow to BC, rain to coastal regions, and snow to higher elevations, Pacific Northwest. But watch for this to continue right up until the 15th. Pretty big system. We do have one tropical storm to talk about, and that is the cyclone east of the Philippines. It, it is named now Tropical Cyclone Phil. It is alive and named, and as forecasted here, the low pressure system from the Philippines looks like it's going to be sucked right into this cyclone, heading northward, category two there, but does not look like it will be making it to Japan. Strong high pressure ridge right off the coast of China. Overlooking Australia. No major systems affecting you. Light rains to continue across southeastern parts. Stormy conditions Saturday. Low pressure center coming in to southwestern regions of Australia Sunday as well. So watch for some thunderstorm action and as well as some moisture moving into 
Northern Territory of Alaska, of Australia. Other than that, no major systems to talk about. And that is a look around the world for the next few days for weather, most of the extreme weather and heavy snowfall amounts actually are going to be across North America. United States, extreme weather here, and a lot of snow falling on the backside of that system and pretty intense low pressure system for next week, middle of April, and still a lot of snow falling. I want to thank you all for watching today. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, giving you a full world update. Stay tuned for the next video. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now.